work out. All right, let's see if I'd like to move on because somebody else is. Um, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Don't help me. Remember, it sounds like I heard the name Annette make sense at all. Um, wait a minute. Let me just start over again to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Because actually it could be two souls and because it sounds alike. I heard Annette, but I also thought I heard Jeanette. Okay. Wait, let me, right, give me the signal start over again. So go back to what I originally heard. Definitely, this individual passed on the name and that. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, even, you know, family, friend, whatever, because family's used very lightly from over there. It can also mean people by term of endearment. You know, a good friend will come in like a brother or whatever. But there's a female presence that came after George and told me her name was Annette, but passed on. And who said yes again? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I just want to see what what she says to me. So I'm not positive yet. No, this one states she is family, yes? Real McCoy. Because she's saying to me, when they say real McCoy, that means actual. Um, without explaining, there's a motherly feeling with her, understood? Because actually comes to you as mom, yes? Because mm -hmm. that's why I keep giving you the hairy eyeballs. <laughs> she comes as mom, your actual mom, because she's telling me she's the real McCoy. I know. See, that's why I don't want you to say anything. Let them just, they'll find you. Actually, too, she does give me the impression she did pass kind of young, yes? I mean, you don't look like an old bag. But, <laughs> you know, but in all lessons, she does tell me she did pass on relatively young by today's standards. And just so you would know where my head's with that, anybody less than 70, I consider that young by today's staff. And if somebody thinks I'm stretching, oh, well, my aunt passed last year and she was 91, so there's my challenge. Now, she definitely insists, which I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear, but still nice to hear it, being around you like the guardian angel. Um... Yeah, but she legit did pass young, yes? Because she keeps dropping me. Now, I don't know if she's kidding or not, so don't say anything. But she kind of like joked at me she was younger than me. So if she was less than 64, absolutely, I'd consider, I'd say if I croak at 64, I'm going to consider it young. So she definitely passed young. And as she states does draw very close to you from over there. Feels you and she could have gotten to know each other better. That there was a gap of communication, but I think it's because of the young passing. Um, whereas she said, which is true, and nothing can really take this feeling away. Unfortunately, you lose your mom, you feel you don't have a home to go to anymore. Now, she does speak, and don't help me, she does speak of her folks being with her. So apparently the maternal grandparents there as well. Also, too, without explaining, she just put, like, white lace over your head and said congratulations. 
Now, without explaining, because that can mean 10 different things for me, so I don't say anything. I learned that lesson with St. Philomena. <laughs> so, she puts white lace over your head and congratulated you. And again, don't help me. Either it's happened or it's about to. You know, not 40 years ago or not 50 years up ahead. It's obviously hearing some sort of joyous or happy news that affects you singularly. And without telling me, you know what it is, and she just wants to make sure that you know she knows and was a part of it. And because she knows you've wondered if she knew, and she does, and she knows that's, that's going to make you feel a heck of a lot better. Naturally, you'd rather have her here physically. And also, as she states, she hopes that her passing didn't frighten you. Because, again, you know, your mom passing young, you know, Mrs. Jones next door was fine. You know, it's, you feel almost singularized. Now, don't say anything because I don't know what she means, but she did bring your dad up. So, does call out. I'm just going to leave it with you because I don't know if she means he's there or here. I can't ask you, you can't tell me. So, I'll just say what I heard and leave it alone. Um, interesting, there is birth around you. Because St. Philomena just appeared behind you, and that's the sign of a happy birth. But it feels as though it's in my lap, which, without helping me, which would mean it either has happened recently, or it certainly is about to. I almost get the feeling from your mom it's happened. Because she speaks about the birth of a grandchild. Now that obviously she's aware, that's probably the white lace and all that, that put together over your head. Hmm. Yeah, I just realized that. Um, I, I know what it means now, um, because I kept seeing um, the Mouseketeer around you. And remember, Annette from the cello was a Mouseketeer, going back to way before your time. But, um, but definitely, your mom knows I used to watch the Mickey Mouse Club, so. <laughs> but again, very much embraces you with love. Also wants to make sure you know she's very near on Mother's Day. Maybe not the way you would have liked, but next best thing, as she says, better than nothing. Yeah, because she did have a tough time prior to her passing, yes? But she admits it was, it was scary. <laughs> you being much younger... You know, nothing you can do about it. Um, this has nothing to do with religion either, but St. Barbara also appeared behind you, and she appears like if somebody felt like they were almost in prison, or like stuck, and the saint reached out to you in compassion, because at that time, you certainly felt that way. But as your mom states, as long as you know she's with you, she's all right, and out and plays, won't so you'll sleep better tonight. I hope it'll take some of the bite off at least. But as she assures you, when your time comes, and it ain't going to be by the weekend, <laughs> when your time comes, she certainly will be there to welcome you over. Just wants to make sure that you don't feel you are abandoned. Because again, mother's the heart and soul of the home. All right, but she says she's going to move on, so let me see. All right, go next. Again, don't hit me. Something I just saw. I, uh, the name Jane. Made sense with anyone? 